school reaching nonprofit status earlier this month. KXA's Mercedes Hernandez spoke with them and joins us now. So what did they say that this means for them, Mercedes? Yes, so the school started in 2018 teaching people how to make things from scratch. And they said that this new, new nonprofit status will help them get more tools into people's hands. The whirring of saws might be a nuisance to some, but to Austin Waldo, it's a symphony. Being able to look at a board and kind of think, well, I can make just about anything I want. He's the managing director of the Austin School of Furniture Foundation. The school offers furniture making classes. And now that it's a nonprofit, Waldo says it can expand those classes to more people. That really is going to be that jumping point into kind of all of our philanthropic efforts of creating scholarships and tool stipends and different types of programs. We're working on sawhorses, so basically little stands that allow you to create a flat surface. Adam Baumeister is in a woodworking class. He says it's helped him get out of his head by working with his hands. What surprised me is the number of different tools we'll be working on. We'll be working on like power tools, hand tools, um, things that I really didn't think we'd uh, be involved in. Waldo says the foundation already started a community class program, letting people pay what they can to attend. This new status will let the foundation grow things like that even more, building something bigger and better for years to come. There is the uh, stress relief aspect, the creative release uh, that you can really uh, tap into your artistic side, but there's also the whole profession side of things that you can definitely be a professional furniture maker or a woodworker. So Waldo says another benefit of having this nonprofit status is now that the school can accept donations, whether that's monetary exactly. or lumber or tools, they can do that. And they're also now looking to partner with uh, other organizations that kind of work to educate folks um, and make some connects there. I love that. You are also a DIYer. Right? I love a good DIY Me project. Do. That's what perked my ears up about yeah. this story. So Beautifully told and beautifully um, edited. Was there anything that was really impressive to you that you saw that they were building or something that they wanted to build? That you we thought this is cool. I mean, um, the project that they were working on were sawhorses, and so I thought that was neat Ooh, because it's like okay. they're building something that will help them continue their journey to build yeah. in the future. And I yeah. thought that was really cool. That is yeah. fun. That is neat. Thank you so much for that story, Mercedes.